Hello, welcome back to Incredible Inverse and Other Animals with me, Phil. I've just got back from the IHS Doncaster Reptile Show, April 2022. Oh, so this is the first of the Doncaster Reptile Shows uh, for 2022. Um, yeah, I was about, so it took place on Sunday. Uh, this video will come out Wednesday, I believe. Um, so Sunday, the uh, 3rd of April. And it was busy. It was a very, very busy show, um, which is always great to see. Great to see so many people turn out to these things. So, um, I was there with my parents still. Uh, Victoria T and the Deep Blue Sea came along as well uh, for our first ever reptile show. Um, I think she enjoyed it. <laughs> she, uh, yeah, she absolutely loved it. So, um, it was actually my parents' uh, best ever show um, out of the history of us doing all these shows. Um, so, for those who don't know, my parents uh, are amazing reptiles who do reptile displays and stuff but also at the shows the reptile and the invert shows have the toy and gift stall and so uh he'll sometimes sometimes see me behind there um often you'll see me wandering around talking and there uh, buying things but yeah it was their best ever show um which is fantastic uh, for them but of course i did uh pick some stuff up so, uh there's not gonna be any show footage for this show um film they don't really like uh, people filming at the show which is fair enough well, you know i respect that also, I don't do any filming at Doncaster. I didn't even take it. I don't think I took any photos at Doncaster either. Just so busy chatting with old friends, making new friends and stuff. Um, it was great. But did manage to pick some things up. Um, everything uh, kind of straight away. I got a nice uh, bag of livestock here. And also, we'll go through that. Did pick up some plants uh, for work uh, from Buzz's Reptiles. So, um on that, yeah, got got some nice life sort of thing. So, well, let's go ahead and have, have a look at what I got. Okay, so what did I get from Doncaster? So, um, I sort of just got some fly pupae from Cheeky Mantis. Always come in handy for any mantids. So, uh, but from a friend of uh, the insect farm market, Harriet, I got some new beetle grubs uh, for myself. Now, this is actually a species, so as you see, coming from there. Uh, that I've been after probably for a couple, two, three years. I assume this is a Sasonishima species, uh, Cyanochlora. And so, so these are uh, L1, L2 uh, grubs, five in there, 40 quid. Um, this species, uh, another type of fruit flower beetle. So I think originally gets a similar sort of size as an adult to common sun beetles, Pachnodus. But what is found out about these ones, what I've been after them for so long, is the adults are bright metallic sapphire blue stunning um i've never actually seen one in the flesh but i've seen plenty of photos so they look absolutely gorgeous um so one of their common names is the sapphires of persia and so uh as one of their common names or the uh, the persian sapphires so, so really looking forward to growing these up um yeah saw they had them available so I had to snap up a top of those so um, then everything else, uh, livestock wise, uh, come from the spider shop. Um, so spider shop there. So got myself some more isopods. Uh, these are I've already got this species, so it's just to add in uh, some new some new blood to it. These are Armadillidium uh, perisae, fantastic species. Absolutely love the look of the species. So um, there should be ten in there, uh, eight pounds. So so pick those up. So got myself a little uh, little heterometrous uh, spinifer scorpion. A uh, little, little tiny angry, angry little one. Um, can resist a, a little uh, juvenile. I absolutely love heterometrous, love all scorpions. Um, but yeah, a little juvenile can resist. So now uh, got myself a couple of new slings. Um, I fancy. So got myself the purple tree spider or Taphnogenus uh, violaceus. Uh, so it is just a little one. There, just about to see it. On there, but um, it's my first type of genus. Uh, one, uh, I know they're quick, and so a little arboreal sling, and another, uh, another arboreal sling actually. Uh, the Colombian tree spider, the uh, Pseudo Clamorus uh, burgessi. Um, now I've noticed that it actually has a little burrow in there. Um, I mean, actually, a lot of arboreal tarantulas. Um, will actually borrow when they're this sort of size um, quite often. So I'll just, I can just see its legs poking up just there. Um, now, I only heard this species actually, um, I think when they, they put pictures up on Facebook a while ago, I thought that 
you know what, that looks stunning. Um, so saw them, thought, yeah, I'll get some of those. And then I've got some more mantids. So got a pair of of ghosts on them. Uh, so there's the female, there's the male. Uh, pair for 15 quid. So not be bad. Um, so yeah, got a pair of ghost mantids. And then last thing that I got is actually something to finally go into this tank here because as of yet, it's just plants. <laughs> so gonna add some isopods in there and stuff um but i wanted you know maybe a nice size mantis to go in there again from a spy shop they had this gorgeous little girl uh so so i couldn't resist her this is one of the giant dead leaf uh mantis the uh deroplatis trun truncata so um absolutely stunning so i've uh she's l5 or insta5 oh yeah there we go she is never kept this species before so oh, um so she's gonna go into yeah into this setup here stuff which uh, i reckon she'll hopefully hopefully do really well in and be a nice feature sort of display uh animal if i find a male um ever available then i'll get a male but she, she was a tenner so um i know what i did sort of buy more as yeah, display animal stuff just have, but they are my pickups uh, from the show. Okay, so they were my pickups from the IHS Doncaster Reptile Show of April 2022. So, oh, I think that was alright. You know, got some nice new things. I uh, didn't go overboard, uh, came back with some money, um, which is always good and stuff. Um, and if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Uh, pop some comments down below. Uh, did you go to the show? If you did, what did you get from the show? I would love to know. Um, I'm planning on going to the next one. The next uh, Doncaster Reptile Show is in June. So um, I hopefully will be there. Uh, my next show will hopefully be the BTS, the British Transfer Society Show, uh, in May. And so I'm going to say actually uh, just after my birthday. So it's my birthday show. So it's pretty much my favourite show <laughs> of the year. Um, so hopefully I will be there celebrating. So, and hopefully for the BTS or well for my birthday and celebrate hopefully get into a thousand subscribers that is my aim as uh, one of my goals I'll uh, get them close at the time of recording I'm very close to 800 so if you haven't yet please do consider subscribing to the channel also hit that bell for notifications so you know every time I upload another video so, but until next time guys take care stay safe and keep rocking